All right. Hey, everybody. There's no music, no script. This is just going to be a public service announcement regarding, like, a Dragon 8 slash Yakuza Infinite Wealth, whatever. So I've been busy working on a big Yakuza 6 video and, you know, trying to get it out before the public release of Infinite Wealth, and it just came to my attention that Sega has moved forward with the decision to lock the New Game Plus behind a DLC paywall. This is very disappointing since there was already backlash about the, you know, implication of this decision and they already went ahead and did it anyway, with the game coming out in like three days now, so I doubt they're gonna revert it anytime soon. If you don't understand the scale of, like, the problem about this, it's that New Game Plus is a core, basic-ass mechanical feature of every single game that has come out in the past decade, right? It's the ability to replay the story mode, or, you know, just replay the game with everything you've unlocked through your previous run through a single-player game most of the time. I don't need to explain that to you, though, if you're watching this video. But the issue with this here is that... I, I can't even blame RGG on this. I doubt RGG would go ahead and greenlight this thing because they used to not have any microtransactions in their games before. This has to be a Sega decision, pushed by Sega, forced by Sega, whatever. And it's just pure greed, it's fucking scummy, and it's downright evil to tarnish the game and take away, like, a basic, basic-ass feature and ruin the replayability for RGG's, you know, upcoming masterpiece. Now, I call it that because obviously this isn't going to, like, ruin my opinion of the game. It's not going to take away from, like, the story or my enjoyment of, like, the actual gameplay. But imagine you're a player who finally finished the story and you want to replay it again or, you know, just have more content to enjoy whilst, you know, going through the boss fights or whatever. You cannot do that. You just have to restart from nothing, completely replay the game again, or just drop it and never touch it again. So Sega's decision here has completely ruined an entire aspect about this game's replayability. Also, another reason this just makes me so angry is because it sets a awful, fucking terrible precedent for future games and future DLC. If they can get away with this, if they think they can get away with this, imagine what else they're gonna remove from the game. What core features are they gonna just strip from the game that have been around since the fucking dawn of gaming to just put behind a paywall, you know, just lock it behind a DLC. Because people will buy it. You know, that's why we can't support this. That's exactly why. And this fucking pisses me off because this is just how the modern gaming landscape is nowadays. This is typical for 2024. You know, you just expect shit like this, but you should not be accepting it, right? Do not purchase the Deluxe Edition. I should probably get into the details that this New Game Plus paywall is behind the Deluxe Editions, or if you spend, you know, the extra $15 on this fucking DLC pack here, do not buy it. I know you probably want New Game Plus because it is such a basic core, you know, mechanic feature of the game and it should have came with it but do not support this business practice do not support sega's greed do not show them that this is acceptable this is not okay this should not be a thing it should never even have been considered you know, this is exactly why people were wary when RGG started introducing microtransactions to their games, is because it's always a slippery slope. You know, you start off with little things, minute shit that you can completely ignore if you're just fine with the base game. That's why players, you know, were wary about them but accepted them over time. And the big issue why people are so worried about microtransactions in single-player games, it is a slippery slope to lead to shit like this, where you just remove core aspects of a game's, you know, functioning features and lock them behind a paywall for no other reason other than money. And imagine if RGG didn't actually even want to do this, but they were pressured by Sega being their big daddy publisher and they just had to do it. You know, that's actually so fucked up. This is beyond ridiculous. You know, previous microtransactions came nowhere near something as egregious as this. You know, like L Lost Judgments DLC, for example. It's just bonus shit. You know, if it's not removed core gameplay elements from the main game, it's if it is just additional bonus shit, then it's no problem, right? Like, yeah, having to buy the fourth boxing style in Judgment, L sorry, Lost Judgment kind of sucked, but it's not a huge deal. And the shit like the Kaito Files was a proper expansional DLC, right? Like, that is proper DLC that you should pay an additional amount for. You know, it wasn't part of the base game. But fucking New Game Plus, really? This is Sega seeing how much they can get away with. 
This is just every modern-day AAA gaming publisher nowadays trying to see what they can get away with, testing the waters, pushing absolute fucking garbage out like this, just to see if the fans will buy it. And they know why they're doing it. It's to incentivize people to purchase these DLCs. That's why you should not. If you purchase these DLCs, if you support this business practice, you are showing them, hey, we can get away with this. The fans think it's okay and they will buy it whether they like it or not. That's why you should just not buy it. Do not buy this shit. Do not support this business practice. It is fucking ridiculous and it just pisses me off because I expect this shit from every fucking AAA publisher and gaming development team nowadays, but to bring it to Yakuza slash Like a Dragon that has always been a single-player story-driven game that just does not need microtransactions, it never did, I don't think it ever should have other than, you know, big expansions like the Kaito Files, but now you are just ruining core elemental features of the game, such as fucking replaying it on New Game Plus. Who greenlit this shit? Who thought this was a good decision? Beyond fucking pissed, because this just ruins the goodwill of your own community, people that love Yakuza games, that people that love RGG Studios, you know, you are tarnishing the goodwill between the fan base and the, you know, developers for your own greedy-ass decision to fucking pump out and milk as much money as you can from your golden cash cow, because Sega knows that Yakuza's making them a shitload of money right now, so let's just fucking squeeze more juice out of it, why not, right? Even if you start strangling fucking RGG by the throat, yeah, we just want our money that fucking bad. Every company nowadays, every AAA company just wants to squeeze the fucking dime out of the players, the fan base, while adding nothing of real substance to the game. Most fucking indie teams, indie developers are producing better content than the fucking AAA teams nowadays for far less money, just because there is a genuine passion and love to them. And what pisses me off about this in particular is RGG is passionate about Yakuza. They love their Like a Dragon titles. They fucking put so much love and effort into them, even if I have my, you know, issues and gripes with specific titles. And Sega had to fucking butt their way in and rub their ass all over them and say, no, you're going to put this fucking feature, you're going to take away this, you know, basic feature and lock it behind a fucking paywall. That way we can siphon more money out of it. You know, they know it's going to incentivize people to purchase the DLC because people are going to want their core mechanic of playing the game again on fucking New Game Plus. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I know. I'm I'm starting to just repeat myself and go on a tangent here. Again, I'm I'm this is not scripted. I am just purely ranting. I am fucking pissed that they went ahead and went forward with this decision. Do not buy it. Okay, I bought Yakuza Like a Dragon 8 Infinite Wealth. I did pre-order it because I already knew I was going to buy the game, but I bought the base edition, which means I will not get the new game plus mode, you know, the, the the basic fucking mechanic of New Game Plus. I won't get it. And I suggest anyone else who is interested in this game to not buy it either. Just buy the base game if you still want to support, you know, Infinite Wealth, if you still want to support RGG and play the game. Just buy the base game. Do not buy any of the DLCs. Do not especially buy this New Game Plus feature. And the reason I'm even making this video is because more people need to be talking about this. More people need to uproar about this, and there needs to be bigger backlash against Sega for forcing this shit into the game. This needs to hit more mainstream channels, like more mainstream outlets need to start talking about this, such as bigger YouTubers, uh, you know, uh, more journalists or news channels, whatever the fuck. Just people need to be talking about this. People need to show Sega that this is unacceptable and they cannot be doing this type of business practice bullshit in fucking Like a Dragon games. It is not needed. It is not wanted. It is just pure greed, pure scum, and pure borderline fucking evil. <sighs> okay, yeah, so I think that just about covers it. You know, there's your little public service announcement. Do not buy this shit. Um, and hopefully Infinite Wealth does not suffer because of this bad decision making. So yeah, bye everybody.